Hi, this is Jeff at Portworks. Today I want to show you how Portworks Persistent Data Fabric for Containers can support, get ready for it, Microsoft SQL Server. And since we're talking about SQL Server, the bar is very high for enterprise features such as high availability, data durability, and data recovery. We're going to cover them all, and it's all going to be incredibly simple and easy to use. To show there's nothing up my sleeve, we start with a three-node cluster with Portworks running on all three nodes and with Microsoft SQL Server running as a container on the first node. Here you can see the Microsoft signature and this really is SQL Server running in Docker. Here I'm showing the MS SQL vol volume that SQL Server is using. You can see that this is a 10 gig volume with HA of 3, meaning there are three complete volume replicas on all three nodes in this cluster and you can see that it's attached to this running server. If I do a docker inspect on this container, you can see the volume mount. A few things to note here. Portworks presents itself simply as a docker volume driver container or plugin. And check out the extended name for this volume. It contains not just the name, but all the metadata, size and replication factor. In fact, this volume was created on demand when the container was run. With Portworks, you don't have to open tickets with a storage admin or pre-provision storage resources for servers and apps. With Portworks, you can have storage resources on demand. I've gone ahead and preloaded the AdventureWorks database, and you can see the row counts for the persons and sales order detail tables here. Now, before anything bad happens, I'm going to take a volume snapshot. This isn't a snapshot of an entire LUN, which might include unwanted data from other containers. This is a container granular snapshot for just this Microsoft SQL volume. Now let's go ahead and simulate something totally awful happening, like for all the sales order detail to be dropped or lost. And the order detail table is no more. To demonstrate data recovery, I'll go over to a different node and start up SQL Server and map in the volume snapshot that I took named MSSQL Snap. By default, Portwork snapshots are read writable and can be mapped into a container the same you would with any other volume. And just like volumes, Portwork snapshots are globally visible on all nodes across the cluster. And if I go and query the database now, I will find all the rows of the sales order detail right at the time that I took the snapshot. Data has been fully recovered and there is no data loss. Next, we'll demonstrate both data durability and availability, and I'll do this by halting the node completely. Down goes the node, Docker, and our active SQL Server instance, but not the data. Note that if I was using a local host directory, the data would be gone for good. That is not the case here since my volume is replicated across three nodes. I go to the third node in the cluster, and from the pixie cuddle status, you can see that node 2 is down. Since Portworks presents a global view of all the data and all the volume snapshots, I can start up SQL Server on the third node using the MSSQL snap name for the volume snapshot. We can mount the snapshot just as we mount a volume. And when I go to query the row count for the sales order detail table, all the rows are there on a completely different node. And to further demonstrate general SQL Server com compatibility, the last thing I'll do is launch a SQL Server Management Studio client on a proper Windows server, connect to the containerized SQL Server instance, Show that the SQL Server instance is accessible. Show that the AdventureWorks database is accessible. Show that the sales order detail table is accessible. And contains all the expected number of rows. Microsoft SQL Server is widely regarded as the gold standard for enterprise database service. Microsoft has done an amazing job of embracing emerging data center trends and movements, such as the current increasing adoption of containerized applications. 
and the Docker version of SQL Server is the most significant indication of just how important Microsoft views containers. Yet the hardest nut to crack for containers has been data persistence, data availability, and data durability. Prior to Portworks, there has been no reliable way to make these important data guarantees. Now with Portworks and Microsoft, enterprises can use SQL Server with Docker, with data persistence, recoverability, durability, and high availability. Thank you for watching.